morning children today we are here to discuss about unit 9 electric current Today the topic what we are going to discuss is behavior of electrons in electric field. In previous class we have discussed clearly that in absence of electric field within lattice region how an electron behaves we have discussed clearly. Let me recapture that particular concept. This is a current carrying conductor through which it is which is not connected to source. If it is not connected to source. It doesn't apply any electric field will be applied for the current carrying conductor. So the electric field is absent. In that particular condition, electrons will revolve randomly in all different directions. Some electrons will move from left to right, some electrons will move from right to left, some electrons will move from up to uh, down to up, up to down. In different directions, that electron can be get moved in randomly, where net flow of charge will be equal to zero. Here, what velocity? What is making electrons to revolve to move randomly is thermal velocity. We have seen clearly, and the net charge of the thermal velocity also will be equal to zero. We have completed. Now, the topic is electrons behaving in lattice region in presence of electric field. If a connecting, how how it can be applied for this particular one itself for a current carrying conductor? If I am connecting to a source, that source allows the current carrying conductor to attain one field. That field is nothing but what electric field. The electric field is acting in one particular direction. Suppose the direction of electric field is this direction. In that direction, electric field is acting. When electric field is acting in one particular direction, the electrons which are existing randomly. Check it here. Here I am taking some electrons there. This is one electron existing randomly. This is one electron which is existing randomly. This is another electron which is existing in randomly. So on three electrons I have taken there itself. When electric field is applied to this particular current carrying conductor, electric field is applied to current carrying conductor in one specified direction. That electron Allow one force will be acting upon this electron. That force is F force. You take it up. Force is acting upon electron, allowing electron to drift to move in one specified direction. Drift means what? Change the direction of an electron. See here, electron is existing in this direction. So as the force is acting in opposite direction to the electric field, force will be exerting on electrons. So that what happened here? Force will be acting in this direction, so that the electron will be drift in this particular direction. Similarly, on this also electron drift in this direction, so that the, as the force is acting in the opposite of the electric field, electron will be moving in this direction. Similarly, if you take note, this electron also, this electron also, as it is moving randomly in another direction, due to exerting of force. Allow electron to move in one specified direction. See, the electron, this electron moving is in this direction. Uh, next electron is also moving in the same direction. Next electron also moving in the same direction. Due to that reason, all the electrons which are existing in current carrying conductor will move in specified direction. That ordered motion of electron, all electrons are moving in certain order. Ordered motion of electron in one specified direction for a time interval is called as what electric current. Already we have studied about electric current. Electric current is nothing but what I is equal to Q by T, where Q is rate of rate of charge char, means the amount of charges flowing for a time interval is called as what electric current. We have seen clearly, and its units also we have seen clearly. Ampere it is measured. We are not entering into that topic. Now coming, when electric field is applied to the current, 
applied to a conductor the cross current carrying conductor how it can be applied by applying a source then what happened a force is acting upon the upon that particular electrons and allowing those electrons to move exactly opposite the direction of electric field so that what happened electron is moving in this direction what happened to the particular electron electron gains extra energy electron what is happening there gaining extra energy and that gaining is also up to what period of time short period of time only electron is gaining energy for a short period of time electron gains extra energy or accelerated with extra energy for a short period of time after a short period of time what happens in itself again that accelerated electron collided with what with the lattice region for example suppose these all are lattice region of the data suppose in data so what does mean when the electron is gaining electron electron is gaining energy it is moving in one specific direction by means of force so as it is coming to this particular region here one lattice region is there positive charge so what happen with high speed will come and collide with this particular lattice region again this electron decelerated its energy its velocity gradually the energy which is gained by electron accelerated energy which is gained by electron gradually decelerated and it will due to electric field as the extra energy is gained it will be get decelerated and slowly it will be get destroyed and electron will be at a, at what position there itself a pause position means what it will be stopped at first and first microsecond within the current carrying conductor and again as electric field is applied around the conductor energy will be gained by electric the energy which is given by electric field will be taken up by this part electron again electron accelerated its energy gain up extra energy it again accelerates and moved little bit more little bit a short period of time it will move it will forward again it will collide with the lattice region or free flow of electrons which are existing in current carrying conductor again the electron decelerated its energy and again the electron gains of energy and again comes and collides with what another lattice region or free flow of electrons again decelerated of electron will be taken back so that each electron as it is moving in specified direction it collide with the, with an acceleration it collide with the lattice region or free flow of electrons and it fall it, it will be get stop it will be get paused for some time interval short period of time interval again by means of external electric field electric field which is existing in the current carrying conductor gains of the electron electron gains energy and again that electron try to move forward and again it will be collided so that continuously electron is accelerating decelerating accelerating decelerating so on the electron will be moving in a forward direction as a result what we get there is electron is acquiring small velocity called as what velocity is called as drift velocity which is exactly opposite to that of what electric field this velocity drift velocity will be remain constant as we are seeing it of accelerating decelerating accelerating decelerating means what increasing of velocity decreasing of velocity we observe that there is variation in velocity we can see it up but that variation also will be taken place in what way uniformly continuous motion uniformly there will be variation in change in velocity how it will be taken place if you see this particular figure there itself see if this arrow indicates something but what the change in velocity there itself by acting of uniform force on this particular electron simultaneously here also what happened this force is the on this electron also what happened uniform force is acting here also uniform the electron is accelerating This is change in velocity of the particular particle there itself. Having drift velocity, here the electron is gaining electron uh, velocity there itself. Here also the electron is accelerating the same, the same equal force is acting upon each and every electron, allowing the electron to move in one specified direction. With the, the change of velocity is also taking place in what uniformly. Due to that reason, we can say that electrons in a conductor. 
move with what speed with constant velocity they will be moving as they are accelerating decelerating also but with constant speed they will be getting moving it up that speed is called as drift velocity or a drift speed we can call it up this drift velocity or drift speed is directly proportional to applied electric field how much electric field is applied depending upon that that much electric force will be acting upon electron therefore if electric field is greater drift velocity will be greater if the drift velocity is lesser electric field within that particular current carrying conductor will be less depending upon this ratio what happen the current flowing in the circuit is mainly depending upon what velocity a drift velocity we can call it up. it is not due to of thermal velocity but it is of depending upon what velocity drift velocity why how this particular drift velocity is attained by a, by a charged particle there by applying electric field therefore electric field is playing a role to produce drift velocity due to this reason all the electrons will move orderly from one point to the top another point by high potential to the top low potential which results in producing of what electric current where electric current i is equal to q by t where charge is measured in coulomb time is measured in second coulomb per second is equal to what ampere in that particular way what happened current producing in a coil current produced in a coil will be played a vital role by producing by by getting what field electric field when a current carrying conductor is applied with electric field by connecting to a source then ordered motion of electrons will be taken place by this well by this we have completed one concept that is the thing but what behavior of electrons in electric field which results in producing of one velocity that velocity is called as what here a drift velocity we can give it up we will get a question in our mind by producing what a velocity current is producing in a circuit in a current carrying conductor it is either it is of thermal velocity or drift velocity answer is what drift velocity thermal velocity is what in absence of electric field the velocity is attained by electron allowing electron to move randomly so due to that reason thermal velocity net charge will be equal to zero drift velocity net charge may not be equal to zero allowing electron to move in what in one specified direction which results in producing electric current in a circuit by this we have completed the concept of drift velocity that is behavior of electrons in electric field just now we have completed drift velocity concept in presence of electric field how that particular electron will attain nature it attains drift nature change its direction the direction changes allow electron to move in one specified direction that velocity is called as drift velocity now we are going to frame a relationship between electric current as well as drift velocity vd or else calculation of drift velocity that is vd we are going to calculate how we can calculate this particular one i have taken a current carrying conductor connected to a source when i am connecting to a source what happens there itself uniform electric field will be applied throughout the conductor in one specified direction let the direction of electric current be as from a to b or positive terminal to negative terminal in this direction is taking place then what happened electrons which are existing in conductor will attain a nature of drift change its direction by applying what force some force electric force or any force take it up electric force is applied upon the electrons allow the electrons to move in one specified direction exactly opposite to the direction of electric field if i am taking this is the fourth direction and electric field direction is in the direction electric force direction is existing in opposite direction due to that reason all the electrons are existing in the conductor will attain one specified direction and they try to move in ordered motion of electron that ordered motion of electrons per certain time interval is called as nothing but what electric current 
electric current means what? Total number of charges passing through unit area of cross section. Let the area of cross section of a conducting wire be as A. I have taken the reason A. Total number of charges passing through unit area of cross section per second time interval will give us nothing but what electric current. Total charges, let the total charges existing in a conductor be as what I have taken as capital Q. Area of cross-section of this particular conducting wire have taken as what? Capital A. Let the length of this particular conductor wire have taken as what? L I have taken the reason. Volume of conductor, volume of conductor means what? Area of conductor, area of cross-section as well as length. If I multiply these two things, I get nothing but what? Volume of conducting wire. I get obtain whose area of position is equal to A. Similarly, let the let N be the number of electrons within conductor the itself. Let number of electrons existing in this particular unit volume be as of a conductor is equal to N I have taken the itself. Each charge of each electron be as nothing but what small q I have taken. Total charge of the conductor is nothing but what is capital Q and each charge of electron which is each charge of electron I have taken as nothing but what small q. Now what happened when electric field is applied to this particular conductor? Each electron experiences a drift velocity. Each electron which is existing in a conductor attains what energy can experience a force allow that put and allow the put electron to drift to move in opposite direction of electric field. So that all the electrons attain voltage drift velocity and all the electrons have to travel this particular unit area area of position of this particular conductor Why? All the electrons are getting drift to so that the electrons are moving outside. First electron moves, second electron moves, third electron moves, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and so on. All the electrons are getting drift nature and moving through this particular unit area of procession. When we can say that this is the last electron, suppose. When the last electron is drifting out the here the electron is existing. When this last electron is crossing unit area of procession of a wire. Unit area of procession of a wire. When the last electron drifts throughout the conductor, how much charge this particular conductor is existing? Now we have to calculate. To calculate that one, I have taken as nothing but what? Total charge of the conductor is equal to what? Total number of charges existing in conductor is equal to what? Q I have taken. Q means what here? Number of electrons existing in a conductor. Simultaneously, length of the conductor are required. Area of the area of position of the wire are required there itself. Similarly, each charge of electron is required. Therefore, I am multiplying total charge of the conductor is equal to number of electrons existing in a conductor. Simultaneously, area of procession of the conducting wire, how much area that particular electrons are moving, that is the area of procession. L present for length of the conductor. Why means last electron is drifting from here out of this particular conducting wire. Means what? Total number of charges drift outside we are calculating it. Up. Therefore, the length of the wire is also important there. Length of the wire and the charge of each electron I have taken is nothing but what? Q I have taken. Now what happened? The last electron is drifting outside. This electron is drifting outside. When it is coming outside, total number of electrons are drift outside. Yes or not? But to drift this last electron which is existing in a conductor also to outside, how much time interval it has taken, we have to calculate that one also. Therefore, time taken by electron to cross, this which electron, last electron to cross area of position of the wire. Let that be as what T. How we can calculate time? We know velocity is equal to displacement per time interval. I require time interval there. Time interval is equal to what? Displacement. Displacement means what? Distance. Velocity here. Which velocity is playing role here? Drift velocity is playing role here. Therefore, Vd. T is equal to displacement. Displacement means what? Distance of this particular pipe. Therefore, L by Vd 
will give it as nothing but all the total time taken to drift the last electron from out of this particular conductor is theta L is L by D. We got the L by BD. BD indicates nothing but what? Drift velocity. Within the conductor, drift velocity is very low. Therefore, T is equal to L by BD. Now, formula. But we know total current flowing surface circuit is equal to how much that is there? Total number of charges passing through unit area of position per time interval. Therefore, Q is equal to L A L Q by L by B D. Length length will be get cancelled. Therefore, I get a formula. My formula is N into A into Q into B D, where N represents number of electrons in a conductor. A represent area of cross-section of a wire. Q represent the charge of each electron. VD represent the charge which is possessing drift velocity. Depending upon this particular formula, we can frame a formula to calculate drift velocity. Drift velocity is equal to total current by N into A into Q. By using this particular formula, we can calculate drift velocity also. Simultaneously, here also, by using this particular formula, N into A into Q into VD, by using this formula, we can also calculate the direction in which direction the current is flowing also, we can indicate. To indicate that one direction, we require two things, one is charge, other one is drift velocity, where number of electrons will be positive, area of position also will be getting as positive, but whereas Q and VD, these two, if you compare it, our product of those two things, Q is a charge, VD is what? Drift velocity. If I am considering Q is negative nature, what is the charge is? Negative nature and VD is positive. VD is positive. Then what happens? The direction of current will be exactly opposite to the law of electric field. The current will be moving in one direction, electric field will be moving in another direction. If you see here, electric field is acting in this direction, then the current flow will be taken in opposite direction if charge is negative. Simultaneously, go for charge as positive. Charge is positive as well as drift velocity is also positive. Both are positive at that time what happened? In the direction of electric field only, electron will be get propagating through a conductor. So that we can understand clearly, we have calculated drift velocity formula simultaneously in which direction the current flow in a direct current flowing in a circuit conductor depends upon the direction. How the direction will be if it is negative, opposite electric field will move. If it if charge is positive, means what in the same direction electron can be get charge, electric current can be get flow in the same direction of applied electric field. By this we have completed drift velocity concept. Tomorrow we will discuss about the concept called as potential difference. Till that time children try to analyze the concept by, by seeing two to three times and try to gain knowledge. Thank you.